What's up, people? Jacob here again. Uh, see the RX-7 back here? It's up on jack stands, as you can see. Uh, there we go. Uh, but today, we're not gonna get into the RX-7 just yet. Uh, I got a whole new setup. I'm gonna be doing the rear end. Uh, it's gonna be another video. We're gonna be putting the gears in and everything, but uh, for today, we're gonna get on to the Daily Driver Jeep. And um, I got a nice package here. Uh, excuse the mess in the garage. I'm, I'm still moving in and stuff. But uh, right here, ordered this whole kit. The whole hitch setup for the Jeep. Got a wiring harness set up. The lights, uh, got the ball, got the receiver part there, and the hitch. And all the hardware that goes with it. Let's see here, a little instruction set and everything. So, Today, we're gonna get put on that, getting, well, get putting it on, on the Jeep. All right, stay tuned. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get on that. Okay, checking all the stuff out here and looking at the instructions. Uh, it's, it's pretty easy to see. It mounts on the factory cross member. That is, uh, I guess, a bumper support in the back pretty neat setup for the jeeps because it's a jeep grand cherokee and i got all the oh uh, you can see it all the bolts are out there and this end right here the nuts are welded in so it's pretty much straightforward uh slide it through and clean it up and then a couple little clips for the bumper and then uh once i get this on then i'll slide this in and the came with the pin. Oh, there it is. I forgot. Pin clip. So that. And then uh, I'll show you guys on the lights once we get all this installed. All right. Let's go. Let's do okay. it. Now here, by looking at the instructions, what it said in the paper here, I'm going to have to lower down the spare tire to gain more access for a room to where the hitch is going to be and I can install the fasteners. So we'll lower the spare tire down now. Just a little access point right here. I'm using my ratchet instead of the factory stuff. But uh, get that down and I'll show you what's underneath. Okay, got the spare tire lowered down. About to get it out undone from here. See, it's a full size spare. It mounts underneath behind the bumper. But uh, I'll get this out and I'll show you what's next. Okay, you can see here, this is the Right here, the brace that goes between the, what would you call a frame support, it comes across here and then there's the one, two, three, four bolts that go through the hitch. You see it's attached here, welded all in. And I gotta take these four, one, two, three, four, and then there's a five, and six off the bumper these clips so I can move the bumper cover and move it back enough to slide in the hitch. So we'll get on that and we'll continue from there. Okay, on these little clips here, fairly easy. Um, if you look closely, uh, you see there's a little notch and you go in there with a flathead screwdriver. Just go in there, and just gently pry down you see these will come right out. See, and they just come, grab it. Oh, the other ones came out a little easier. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, just continue to pry this down. Sometimes you have to go on each side. I mean, these have been in here for since original. Whole thing's trying to come out. 
You gotta get this piece out first. I'll have to get my clip tool. I'll show you on this one easier. Okay, there it is. Like I said, and they just pull out like so. They're reusable. You know, it's just that spaced out. So I'm gonna continue getting this one off. I got that one off already. And that one, and then I got these other two right there, right there. I started on them. I just left it like that. But I'll get these all out, and then uh, we'll get the receiver Okay. Up now, on this part, we're going to have to uh, pull back this up in this support bumper insert piece to get room to slide in the hitch. Do that now. Brand new hitch, side boy. Okay. All right. Let's slide this back, and voila. All right. Oh, trying to get this in. Okay, and here's the bolt. Put it through with the washer that it brings. Get one started in there. All right, pretty easy. Uh, you may have to wiggle it around a little bit. Bolts line up. But, yeah, that's it right there. It's actually a pretty nice setup. They came up with this from the factory. <laughs> Oops. Okay. You can see there, four bolts in. We get them tightened all up and uh, torque them down. And the paper says 110 foot pounds. So, get with my ratchet right now. Start tying these up. There we go. Okay. And uh, I get these all tightened up and then uh, get the torque wrench out. But, I mean, it's looking really good right now. Look at that. It's pretty neat. <laughs> one of the easiest ones I've done <laughs> all right let's continue on all right now I'm getting this in receptacle uh, you slide it in very simple and you got the pin line up the hole bring it in and take the lock and clip there it is kind of get with one hand but yeah now it's in there I said I got all the bolts tightened up nice and tight all torqued down now receiver ball it's a lot easier to have this mounted and then install the ball in it goes in like so all right. Now this, I got a big inch and a half socket. I'm gonna impact, so I'm gonna impact this on. Uh, see if I can put you over here, you can see what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, there we go. Um, I might need a wrench for this. I do have it, but uh, let's see if it'll tighten it up. Usually it does. 
Close it up tight. Yeah, I want it. Sure. Oh, be right back. We'll turn the pressure on. now this is all done tight um i just gotta put these little clips back in the bumper here they it should be used uh the kick came with ones but i kind of like these plastery ones a little bit better but uh i'm gonna continue with this get these clips on and then we'll get, get into the wiring all right okay now here is this wiring and get out the box now just first glance at this i mean most average person would be like, oh my God, what did I get myself into? But actually looking at it, it's it's pretty much a plug and play system. This side here, it's the driver's side. And see, it has these nice plugs. And all you gotta do is uh, unplug the, the light from the rear and you plug in this, so it's like a, a jumper. So it, the original wire unplugs from the light, would plug in, and this one will plug into the light, except the, on the light itself and so forth on this side and they give you plenty of wire here you know to run up and uh, give you enough lead and they say to start with the driver's side first and then the passenger side will go along and then this is the little converter box that converts the light signals to the trailer four prong and then uh it brings a bunch of zip ties the zip tied all up real nice and clean so your wiring looks good even brought a little dust cap for the connector which is really nice I, I, this is a real nice kit real well laid out on the structures also got a uh, colorful pictures you can see there you're moving the light and you unplug it and you plug the new one in and it's all here in English written all the steps you got to take you know and go through Again, here's another picture of the whole setup. Very nice. All laid out. This Curtis Hitch is a real nice, very nice design. I, I didn't have to trim the bumper or anything. But it fits right in there, like OEM. I mean, yeah, it's, it's real nice, real nice fit and finish. And look, it's gonna work great. Okay, on these lights here, just just uh, torques here. There. Uh, you see, I already broke them loose and just and thread them out. Um, whatever type of torques you have, screwdriver set, whatever. I got the, the clip on for my drill and stuff that maybe there's extension on it. So these are impact grade torques. But uh, yeah, you just take those two off and just grab the light. Just got these two. Uh, clips on each side see them right there little balls and clip into there and you see the plug is right there for the light the wiring there goes up like so and right now i got this side undone already just come in under the plug press a little clip there comes right undone i'm gonna finish getting that out because it's a little difficult one-handed but then after that i'll show you the, the wiring harness just feeds right up through there you can see the ground right over there pretty simple direct okay you see here i pushed the wire up through i plugged it into the original oem wiring then this plugged into the light and i grounded off a spot here but this is the ground for the lights Got me a little thick screw, self-tapper with a washer. I'm gonna use my drill there 
and just zip it in there. All right, and this is what I use to just clean out the ground. Getting on that. Uh, all right, once it's all together, I'll show okay. you. They're plugged into the light. See it's right there. Ground's all secured. I'm gonna get this light back in. And then uh, I'll show you underneath. I'm gonna run the wiring and let's tie it all up and then run the other end to that light over there and get it all plugged okay, in. Okay, here they gave a piece of double-sided tape, the little converter box. So I'll put this on there, find a little spot up there. It's a nice clean spot. Uh, then I'll zip tie all these wires up and run the wiring over. This is gonna go to the other light and then this will go by the receiver end here. And I'll figure out how I'm gonna put that with the nice little dust cap. And just wanna iterate, uh, let you know to always follow the instructions. You know, I looked at the instructions good first, figure everything out, and um, it's out a lot nicer. That's my neighbor over there. Awesome neighbor. Love the ride. All right, let's get back to this. Okay, there goes the little converter box. Got the wire zip tied up. Uh, I'm gonna buy a couple more zip ties because uh, the kit only brought like five of them. I'm finished zip tying this up, but got it all tucked away nice. Uh, put that on. I mean, all I gotta do is pull this out and hook up to the trailer. There's plenty of extra wire that comes with the kit, which is really nice. But I mean, overall, it, it's a real nice kit. And the wire there, I gotta zip tight to there. I still gotta cut the ends off of these, but like I said, I'm gonna cut, put a couple more zip ties to really tighten this, tidy this up, but this is really nice. I mean, this this kit, it bolts on really nice. It came with all the hardware. Um, it was a complete kit with the, you know, the receiver, the ball, everything, uh, pin, complete wiring kit. And uh, I mean, you see the spare tires back in place, so really nice. All back together. Uh, and uh, I give it up to Kurt, man. It, real nice kit. I'm very satisfied with the product. It's not sponsored or nothing in any way. I just want to say, uh, awesome kit. I just want to say, once again, it, it came out super great on the kit. Uh, I can't be even more happier, I mean, with this setup. You know, all the lights are in. Everything's back to normal, ready to go. I, I mean, out of all the, the trailer hitches I put on vehicles, <laughs> uh, this is one of the nicest kits. Uh, brought everything, great instructions and everything. So just uh, like, comment, subscribe. Be more, like I said, get on the RX-7 and stuff. There's my neighbor again. <laughs> uh, but uh, comment, like, I mean, be doing more. Stay tuned for more. All right. See you guys.